What's up guys, Josh from Minor Lights. I have not done a video on our app, how to kind of connect. So I wanted to do a quick video with our music controller on how to kind of connect our products together, how to use the app, how to configure it. Um, so to start, obviously we open up the app, flip the switch for the controller. You pull down in the main screen. As you see, it comes up Rhino Music. On our website, help.rhinoledlights.com, you'll see a section to kind of set the configuration down here. Um, ideally, once you set this, you're done. Um, but there's different options we set it to based on the size whips you have. So depending on what size whips you have, changes these numbers. So go to that website and you can uh, see how to configure that. When you come into the screen, as you see, you can see all the solid colors you have. Then this is the pattern mode. You can go through and select whatever pattern you want. You hit the auto button, it'll actually auto cycle and go through all the patterns, you know, stopping every five seconds or so. Um, you have a brightness adjustment as well as a speed adjustment. So as you see the patterns slow down and then go really fast. So that's what that's for. So I'll turn this down so it doesn't affect the camera as much. Um, then down here you'll see a music mode. You select music mode and it now reacts to sound. And again, there's about 38 different patterns you can choose from. So you can just select your pattern. You can customize kind of the color you want. And then if you click on this strip down here, it will change it to what's called a matrix mode. And then this is again, it's a still a sound reactant mode, but it kind of changes how the mode is reacting. The cool thing about this mode is you can, on a lot of them, you can change the column color and the falling dot color. So as you see, I changed the outside color to green and then we'll put the inside color to blue. So the inside of the whip is blue and then that dot at the end is green. So that's pretty cool. And again, you can change the sensitivity, everything. And then again, you just can cycle through and then down the corners, auto cycle mode. And it'll just go through everything. To get back to the effects, you click effects and then it goes back to doing what it was doing. So that's kind of a quick rundown of our uh, controller and how to use the app and how to configure it. Um, also, if you see you're connected with the little dot, you can turn it on and off from here. We don't recommend this. We always recommend a switch and a fuse when hooking up the controller, but that is an option and it's thrown a couple of people off because they haven't been able to get the app to work, ends up they accidentally turned it off here. So there you go, it was a quick rundown.